Here's, uh, here's one from um, Judy. She writes, my son is a freshman in school. He's an art major. We've been researching art software, laptops, and so forth to figure out what he needs in the way of graphic arts. Oh, so he's going into school. Mm. All right. He needs, a th he needs 3D software, a laptop that can maneuver according to art software usage. I'm not sure what maneuver means in this context, but possibly a touch screen with pen. If you have any suggestions or questions, let me know. We were looking at a Surface Pro. I'm not sure if that's the way to go. Of course, you always want to call the school mm -hmm. and say, what do you recommend? Often you can get deals. Call the bursar. Call the IT department. They may have suggestions for you. Uh, there may be specific hardware that the art department's going to recommend or specific software. But we thought since we had Alexei on, we'd get, we'd get his opinion on this. Alexei Zakharov, who is obviously very good at this, he recorded an answer just for you, Judy. Watch. The main thing here is to decide what type of digital art are you engaged in. It might be broadcast design or game development or cinema graphics, etc. Only then you decide you need to look for software and hardware. For example, for traditional artists, the best choice will be probably Photoshop or Corel Painter. For digital sculpture, it must be ZBrush or Mudbox. For broadcast design, it must be Cinema 4D. For architectural visualization, 3ds max for example the important thing is uh, also the price of software because computer graphics software usually costs a lot but as far as i know many software companies has a big discount for students also there are some subscription options which allows you to test software before you buy it about hardware in most cases, it also depends on your task in computer graphics. So when you choose uh, your laptop or desktop, you need to look some parameters like CPU, main performance, main processor performance, uh, graphic processor performance, and RAM volume. My own choice, I prefer desktop because I got a better performance for the same money. But if you need a mobile device, you should choose a laptop only, of course. Okay, that's very common answer. If you need a more specific answer, you can ask your question by email or on my personal page on Behance. He's on Behance. He's also Sekovan, S-E-C-C-O-V-A-N on Behance from Moskva. Uh, Alexei Zakharov, there's his Behance page. That is another great tip. And and frankly, Judy, your son should be doing that and yeah. starting to get to know people in that community. That's going to only be valuable to him in later years if he really pursues this. This is when you start forging those relationships. So going to, into a community like Behance, which is an it's Adobe-sponsored uh, community, going into a community like that and asking people questions is, is, your, is your intro to them and uh, and I think a great idea so make sure your son does that but again ask the school as for a surface I think it might be okay for lightweight stuff um, you can get certainly a surface with an i7 and I th I think they max out on I I, I want to say 16 gigs of RAM maybe they maybe you can get more in there you're gonna want a lot of memory it's also a very pricey yes. computer I think you'd be better off if he, if he can get a desktop you're gonna save a lot of money yeah I, I mean if he was just doing graphics literally just 2d or 3d just drawing graphics yeah a surface would be fine but right. animation most of the arts will head into animation yeah. and at that point if you don't have a desktop you're gonna yeah. rapidly find yourself running it not only into processor and, and memory limitation but storage becomes problematic. Yeah. You're always yeah. offloading in order to make room on the internal drive. Yeah. You know, for a lot of students just want to be able to have something light and portable, and that's great for yeah. bringing to class and stuff, but it's not great for the kind of high-end 3D yeah. design he may end up wanting to do. So. But that advice at the beginning was perfect, which is before you start talking hardware, Talk find what you're going to be using yeah. because yeah. nothing's going to be worse than, than buying a platform and then realizing you don't have yeah. the software. All, all that software he mentioned is great, but what is the school going to use, right. in, especially in your first year? Here and, and that's what you need to find out now. Um, anyway, good luck, Judy, and good luck to your son. That's awesome. That's fantastic.